Hi, I'm Kaya Genius. They say I have answers to all, well, most of your research questions. If you're starting out in digital PCR or are an experienced digital PCR user, you may find my new video series relevant. A common concern for digital PCR users is the dead volume. Today, I am going to address some of those concerns with examples. Question 1. What is dead volume? Why is it so critical for digital PCR? According to the recent update of the Digital Mikey guidelines, dead volume is the difference between the volume of the pre-reaction and the actual reaction. Dead volume is important, especially when measuring low concentrations of the target. An example would be a rare mutation, where you can miss the target. Question 2. Are all DPCR methods equal when it comes to dead volume? The way the DPCR reaction is partitioned and distributed, in chambers or droplets, might reflect in the dead volume of that method. Droplets are more fragile, and hence might burst, leading to high dead volume. On the other hand, nanoplate-based DPCR is not affected, because of the solid nature of the chambers. Is that all? Of course not! The most important factors in determining the relative sensitivity of each system are template addition volume and template analyzed volume. Kyogen's Nanoplate 26K allows you to add up to 27 microliters of sample volume. The more we can load, the more sensitive the detection will be. See this figure for an explanation. Was that helpful? If you have more questions on dead volume, feel free to read this application note, easily downloadable from our website. I will be back next time with another question that you'd like to get answered. Thanks for watching. Kyogen. Sample to Insight.